What's the difference between this, 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 and this? One of them is pink. Hi Len here, we're building another deck and I'm going to show you the different types of timber treatment that we use in construction in New Zealand. So the first type of timber we use in construction and the most common is H1.2. Yeah, there's a 1.1, I'll get to that later. So H1.2 is this pink stuff. It's a dye that's sprayed on afterwards and it fades quite quickly when it's exposed to sunlight. You're talking probably a couple of days. Using it for this deck just as profiles, which are temporary, and also for bracing later on. Usually it's radiata pine, although you can get Douglas fir as well, which tends to be a bit more of a reddy colour. H1.2 is an interior only timber, so it cannot be used to build structures outside although it can be left exposed for up to three months. Now this, like all our timber treatments in New Zealand, this is all pressure treated in a vacuum chamber, simply because it's the quickest way of doing it. That doesn't mean the same as pressure treated in other countries where that is the exterior timber. The treatment is boron treatment, and that's to stop boring insects. If you look at older houses, a lot of the framing is just eaten, it's got lots of little tiny holes in it. And I've worked in a few houses where the studs are just disintegrating into powder because the beetles have eaten so much of it. Now H1.1 is an older treatment, it's no longer produced. And from what I understand it was also a boron treatment but a lower concentration. This is H5 for our deck piles. It also gets used for house piles, and that's the minimum treatment that we can use for any structural components that go into the ground. It's pressure treated with a copper, chrome, and arsenic solution, CCA for short. It's a higher concentration than the lower treatments of timber. Piles here are designed to last 50 years in the ground. I realize overseas it's sometimes different where the piles are mounted above the ground and connected to the ground by steel brackets. H5 is our greatest treatment that we generally use. There is also H6. That's a special order thing for marine piles and sea walls and so forth. Give me a lift with this first one, please. Alright, Big couple of days, so most of the piles are in, and James has been working on those posts there, which form the handrails as well. And meanwhile, I've been putting these stringers on, which are H3.2. I'll talk a little bit about that later. Tomorrow, I'm going to be putting the bears on over here. Alright, let's cut these balls off and put some bears on. Get in 
inspection on a new house. Not that we'll have an inspector here. You see the top of your piles are straight and sticking out from your bearers. They could fail you. So what we do is just cut a little 45 on one edge so that there's an angle for the water to drain off. I keep forgetting my hat. And they are H4. In this case, they don't actually need to be H4. But for a lot of the decks that we do, we do need H4 bearers. Because H4 is specified for ground contact or within 140 millimeters of the ground. That can be used in non-structural in-ground applications like fence posts. And also the rails for attaining wall. Let's get these bearers on. use Y dogs or Z nails as well to fix these down. I've mentioned that in a previous video. Now if they're less than I think it's 600 mil from the ground they need to be stainless steel. Let's get some joists on, which are H3.2. So there's H3.1, which a lot of people don't know about. So I'll get into that a little bit later. So let's talk timber. This is the structural type of H3 and it's treated with CCA like the rest of them. So this is what we use for most of our building where it's exposed to the weather and its durability in those conditions is 50 years like the rest of it. So when we build a deck, the deck structure needs to last that 50 years. Now you thought can also get decking that's H3.2 pine but honestly it's cheap and nasty. If you're going to go through this much effort spend the money to get some proper nice looking decking. Let's talk about H3.1 then. H3.1 is this here and it's a non-structural H3 treatment so it's a completely different type of treatment. The majority of it is treated with light organic solvent preservatives. It's a group of organic chemicals. In this context, organic doesn't mean it comes from nature. Organic chemistry deals with some of the most horrible chemicals, stuff that you don't want in your body. So for that reason, it's no longer allowed for in structural applications in houses, but it's still used for trim outside and for cladding. You also can't use it in places where it's going to trap moisture. So in the case of the joist around the window here, I've checked it out. It's just good practice. Most H3.1 is painted, it has to come painted. And if you make any cuts, you need to then paint them as well. To prevent moisture getting in, we're washing away that solvent and stops the solvent from evaporating out of the timber. Ooh. It's my second misfire of the day. I was having a lot of trouble with my nail gun. It was misfiring basically every second nail. I spent about 20 minutes giving a good clean out and I fired a few hundred nails and it's misfired all of it twice. So there you go. Service your nail gun. So if you watched this far, you might have noticed I'm missing one timber type. So I've covered H6 for marine applications, H5 for in-ground applications, H4 for ground contact or near ground applications and both types of H3 and I've also covered both types of H1. But what about H2? 
H2 is not a timber that we have in New Zealand. It's blue, you might have seen it online if you watch a few other YouTube videos from Australia. Don't know if they have it in another country. And that is a timber for interior use, but it's treated against termite as well. Now we don't have termites in New Zealand, so that's not a problem. Next week we might be covering the steps and the wheelchair ramp we're doing on this. That's going to be pretty exciting. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers!